Okay, picture this. You've done your part, rolled up your sleeve, and gotten the booster shot. Now, maybe you're feeling a little under the weather, achy, feverish, maybe even that familiar brain fog creeping back in. And suddenly, the internet comes alive with whispers, warnings, and worst case scenarios about these post-booster side effects. Fear not, friends, because before you hit that Google rabbit hole, let's unpack these concerns like a doctor cracking open a medical mystery. First, let's rewind. Remember those initial COVID vaccines? Yeah, those side effects felt like a surprise party in your immune system. But here's the thing, it was a good party. Your body was throwing down, learning to recognize and fight the virus. Now, the booster's more like an after party, a smaller, more subdued affair. It's a refresher course, reminding your immune system to keep those COVID antibodies sharp and ready. So yes, some temporary discomfort is common. Like that annoying DJ at the after party, a sore arm or low-grade fever might stick around for a day or two. But fret not, these are just your body's victory lap, showcasing its superhero training. Think of it as a workout soreness, but for your immune system. Now let's tackle the real party crashers, the myths and misinformation swirling around. Let's debunk some of the biggest ones, shall we? Myth number one, boosters cause blood clots. False alarm, the very rare blood clot risk linked to some vaccines doesn't apply to boosters. Think of it like switching dance partners, different moves, different risks. Myth number two, boosters mess with your fertility. Again, no scientific evidence to back this up. Your baby making skills are safe at the after party. Myth number three, natural immunity is better than boosters. While surviving COVID does give you some protection, it's a wild ride, folks. Boosters offer a safer, more predictable way to strengthen your defenses. Think of it as skipping the mosh pit and heading straight to the VIP lounge of immunity. Now, if you're experiencing anything beyond the usual after-party blues, severe allergic reactions, prolonged fever, or anything that just feels off, of course, don't hesitate to consult your doctor. They're the ultimate party bouncers, there to make sure everyone's having a safe and healthy time. And remember folks, staying informed is key. Ditch the internet gossip and stick to reliable sources. Your doctor, reputable health organizations, and websites with those fancy gov or .edu extensions. They'll give you the lowdown on the latest research, keeping you dancing to the beat of scientific evidence. So the next time you get that booster, embrace the after party, temporary dips in energy and all. It's your body throwing a victory bash, celebrating its heroic efforts to keep you safe from COVID. And you know what? That's something worth raising a glass or a glass of water if you're feeling under the weather too. Cheers to science, cheers to immunity, and cheers to conquering COVID, one booster at a time.